The Relationship Safety Alliance held its annual gala in order to raise funds for its efforts in helping those affected by relationship abuse. Justin Othout has more. Since 1978, the Relationship Safety Alliance, or RSA, has worked to give support to those suffering from relationship abuse. Whether it be through the Louise Selesky Shelter or the Alex and Brandon Child Safety Shelter, and last night saw the RSA host its annual gala to raise funds for its efforts. We are very excited to be here. It's a beautiful venue. We've got wonderful guests. We've got amazing speakers lined up, wonderful menu, and everything. It's going to be great. It's our time to really bring our supporters and the community and everybody else together uh, to really kind of share in, uh, in what our mission is, but also it gives us the opportunity to, uh, to help make sure that we're propelling our mission forward. While a gala's primary goal was to raise funds for the organization, it also highlighted the work that the Relationship Safety Alliance provides to Greater Minnesota. The Relationship Safety Alliance is here for uh, everybody that is actually experiencing um, any sort of relationship abuse. Uh, just letting them know is, is that they are not alone, but then also at the same time is that there's a safe place to turn. We're all needed somewhere. We have an amazing team and they all do their jobs very, very well. This gala was significant for the nonprofit as it served as the first fundraising event since the COVID-19 pandemic. This is actually our very first fundraising event since the pandemic. This event was scheduled for June of 2020. We all know what happened then. It was canceled and we we're just very happy that we were able to do it this year. It's so exciting to see everybody come together tonight uh, just to help see this propel forward and make sure is that uh, we are there for everybody in need. The gala saw several volunteer members of its staff, as well as several community members, come out and support the RSA for the work they do for Mid-Minnesota. It's incredible to see the community uh, come together, really uh, really just work with us, work together as partners. Um, we're not a separate organization, this organization is the community. We wouldn't be in existence if we didn't have the support from our community, so we love being here. Reporting in Brainerd, I'm Justin Othout, Lakeland News. The organization's founder, Louise Seleski, was also a featured guest speaker. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.